Hello my loves, so welcome back to another weekly energy reading. If this is your first time tuning into my videos, my name is Steph Ventura. I am the Psychic Soul Empowerment Coach and here on my channel I do videos on the topics of mindset, manifestation, healing, spirituality, spiritual entrepreneurship, spiritual activism, energy readings, conversations with friends, etc. and whatever just I feel like talking about here on my channel. So today is the weekly energy reading video for June 26th through July 2nd, 2022. Um, but before we get into that today, I want to let you know that I am recording this on June 27th at almost 9 p.m. my time. This will probably go up on uh, June 28th, Tuesday, um, because it's just really late and I'm not going to do the stuff to put it out there today. Um, but I really encourage you to follow me on TikTok because I am going to do a quick summary of today's reading and put it on TikTok for those of you who are, are on TikTok, who follow me there, links to my social media and any offers and services that you might be interested in will be in the pinned comment of this video as well as relevant timestamps for this video. So definitely check out those links there and only follow me on the social media links that I have pinned down below in the comment below um, because those are my only social media links and if you get contacted by anyone else from another social media account that is not me so I just wanted to put that out there real quick but um, yeah before we get into the energy reading for this week I do want to run through my announcements real quick I wanted to let you know that I haven't had a chance yet to um, really be able to move forward with the Bulletproof Empath program that I'm launching. Um, the way that I've wanted to, I have been busy with other things related to Awoke. If you don't know what Awoke is, it's an independent social media platform for people who are interested in personal development and spirituality. I will link up some videos up here for you to go and check out some of those videos. One of them is me doing a tutorial of the platform. But yeah, I've been busy with projects on Awoke and um, just uh, personal journey stuff and also creating content related to empaths on TikTok. So if you do follow me on TikTok, I really recommend that you um, check out my recent videos. I'm doing a lot of helpful videos on empaths and just how to navigate the empathic journey, etc. So yeah, you know, I've just been busy with that, but I will be having soon the relevant sign-up link, sign-up page, or whatever for the Bulletproof Empath uh, course program. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but it will be up when it's ready, and I will announce it on TikTok and probably Instagram stories um, if I don't get a chance to do so here on YouTube because I only post a video a week usually. So um, yeah, a day-to-day connection and interaction with me usually happens like on TikTok or Instagram stories or something. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, but it is still um, something I'm working on. It's something I'm going to launch. I'm just getting myself situated and organized and making sure that I'm honoring my energy and my body as well and fluctuations in certain states and stuff that I experience um, throughout the month as a woman, as a light worker, etc. So yeah, but I, I am still working on that and I wanted to just let you know that it's in the works. Um, so yeah, the next thing I just wanted to announce real quick is that in case you haven't yet purchased my 2022 yearly energy reading, this is a paid reading. I'm going to be doing the um, reading, like the video, the channeling for the remaining six months of the year next Wednesday, June 6th, I believe. No, July, sorry. I'm going back in time. July 6th, I believe, is next Wednesday. So that is um, when I'm going to be holding the video and doing the recording for the next quarter, the third quarter of this year. And I'm sure later in July, we'll do the recording for the last three months of the year. So yeah, if you haven't yet purchased it, it's 50% uh, off because we're halfway through the year. So it's 50 bucks. And um, the link to sign up is down below. I really encourage you to Purchase this if it's something that you feel pulled to do. It's a guide really to support you with your personal development and your journey and just gives you more in-depth guidance and messages and clarity and support um, on how to navigate what is coming up throughout the year. So yeah, I just wanted to give those two quick reminders. 
and I think that's all I have to say for right now. Um, I don't know if I should apologize. I feel like my energy isn't what I want it to be, but at the same time, it's really late at night, and it just is what it is, and I'm a real person, and I really wanted to do this energy, but I'm just not like, you know, perky, like at the start of the day, but you never know. Sometimes when I start channeling, the energy just comes, and I just go with it, so here I am. <laughs> so real quick, um, let's get into this energy reading. I'm going to try to keep this short because I'm trying to get ready for bed and, you know, just go about my life. So this is the energy reading for J June 26th through July 2nd, 2022. And the message that I channeled for this week, if you're watching, is, you know, this week has all to do with like really standing in your worth and really remaining strong in that personal worth. Okay. So this means that you will no longer doubt what you deserve and of being able to receive it, being worthy of receiving it. Um, it will, you will no longer feel guilty for asking for what you rightfully uh, deserve. And you are very convinced that you do deserve better and that you start taking whatever aligned action steps you got to take in order to um, really make sure that your life starts reflecting this greater sense of self-worth or this deeper connection to your sense of self-worth, right? Um, and so also what I channeled is that there's a part of you that wants more. So you want to have more, you want to do more, you want to be more. But to achieve that, you have to be convinced that you're worthy, okay? And deserving of this and really own that and become that become the version of you that knows so deeply and strongly that you are worthy of the life that you desire, of the relationship that you desire, of the health that you deserve, whatever it is that you're desiring, you have to feel deeply worthy about that. And so what you're being asked um, is to really get honest with yourselves about what you want to have um, be better in your lives and what you have to shift within yourself to start making a real that a reality okay so if you want something better you have to choose to have better you always have the choice and that's the message that i got at the end is like you if you want better you have to choose to have better it's your choice so you know it's a very powerful i guess like call to really own your worth and not doubt these things and um so yeah you know that's basically the message in a nutshell for this week's weekly energy reading i'm now going to just pull a few cards see if there are any additional messages that want to come through um again if you want to have a session with me my link should be below for you to maybe it's only on instagram i don't know but if you want to work with me that you know i have a session links are somewhere on my social media here or Instagram <laughs> or TikTok. So anyway, um, I'm going to see what spirit wants us to know today. So God, angels, guides, beings that are of the deepest of love, highest of the integrity, and greatest of good. What other messages do you want people to know and receive today for their highest good in regards to the weekly energy reading for this week? Some cards fell on the floor. I have to go get them. All right. So I got Archangel Ariel, Peaceful Warrior. The Miriam, Sacred Vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. These two came out at the end. Um, so Archangel Sandalphon, The Miracle of Prayer and Spiritual Abundance. And then this card came out, Isis, Magic Manifesting. And it's really interesting because as I was shuffling this deck, like, I, you know, like sometimes when you're shuffling the cards, it, it sounds like a card like flips over, but I didn't see anything flip over, if I'm not mistaken. Like, nothing is flipped over here, you know? 
And then like as I was shuffling, you know how sometimes like a card will kind of like stand out like that or whatever? And I did notice that the um, the Manifesting Miracles card, Archangel Orion, was kind of sticking out, but like not enough for me to pull it. So I just figured like if we're meant to have a message around manifesting, it will show up. <laughs> Which it has, you know, that's the funny thing is we got Isis here, Magic Manifesting. Um, your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. And I feel like this card as well has a lot to do with manifesting, spiritual abundance, and also this as well, this card, Miracle of Prayer, because it's about really, you know, um, praying and trusting that your prayers are heard. So for this week, um, again, the message is all around really being strong in your sense of self-worth really owning that and like the yellow in this card from the archangel um ariel card is for me it's very connected to solar plexus chakra it's your sen your sense of will personal power i have a video up here talking about the yellow chakra the solar plexus chakra so you can check it out um but I feel like it's really about being strong and really owning that and being powerful in that. And even though there's not like flames or whatever here in this card, but it's very like yellow. It reminds me of the sun. It reminds me of, you know, the sun shining brightly, fiery. And it's like, it, for me, it represents power. It's really about being your power. And, you know, sometimes I think... It is beneficial and helpful to be in your power from like a forceful place and like going out there and like doing things and exerting your will and, and that's a helpful place to be in sometimes depending on your journey. But this week it's about peacefully like being in your power, you know, it's peaceful warrior, it's being grounded, it's being in that deep knowing like I know what I'm worth. I don't have to necessarily go and like say what I'm worth or tell people what I'm worth or you know do anything to prove my worth like I'm deeply connected to my worth and my presence my energy my vibration the way that I interact with people I show up etc is a reflection of me being deeply connected to my worth and that's really like the message that I'm getting from this card is being very strong in that within yourself, okay? Look, it's that lion, fiery Leo. See, this is what I was kind of thinking, I guess, fire energy, you know? That regalness, like a, a lion doesn't necessarily have to roar for you to admire it, for you to admire its power, its majestic nature or presence. A lion just is, when you see it walking and everything, you're in awe of it. You're like, wow, look at that magnificent being, you know? It's beautiful. It's amazing. So it's really about that this week, being strong in that and connected to that. Um, is there anything else? I don't know. I'm not like super well versed or familiar with sacred geometry but i don't know why this is sticking out to me do you see this i think it's the flower of life around her head it's hard to see because of my ring light but maybe you can see it. and it's nighttime but i'm covering my ring light right now i think this is the flower of life whatever is i'm thinking flower of life and to me like flower of life is like everything that gives life to everything and you have the power to give life to your dreams, to your visions, to your desires. You have the power, you know, um, but you have to, you have to own your power. You, part of like you being able to realize your dreams and stuff is by you being deeply connected to your worth. And knowing like this is what I'm worthy of. This is just like what I what I deserve, what I expect, what is, and I'm going to get it. And just that deep knowing. And so um, I feel like it's about really understanding you do have the power to create what it is that you want, you know. And it's it 
I feel like I have to reference the last line that I wrote here, which is, you know, if you want better, you get to choose to have better. You get to choose that. So it's your choice and choosing to own your worth moment by moment, thought after thought, situation after situation, etc. is part of you choosing. It's part of you becoming solid. It's part of you becoming really grounded in this truth. So choose that this weekend. Um, I feel like this card is, for me, it's really telling me that well, this card is all about forgiveness and healing relationships. But for me, so take that if it resonates, okay? But for me, what I really feel it is, it's like, like on one side, it's you, current, present day, you, present reality, you, etc. And on the other side, it's um, the you with your desires, with your wish fulfillment, you know, with that. And... You get to choose that and you just have to hold strong to the vision. Hold strong to your truth. You have to choose that for yourself. Again and again. It's like, what I'm getting is, you feel like current you and future you are so different are so like i don't know out of reach or something like that like that's like way off in the distance that's not but they're like twins they're mirror reflections you're not that different from the version of you that has your desires it's about an internal shift because if you look at it on the external there's no difference there. They're the same. They're just mere reflections. But the difference is it's internal. Internally, one version of you is owning their worth so much more powerfully and deeply, which is allowing for you, that version of you to give birth, you know, with the flower of life or whatever it's called. Um, to give birth to that reality that is in alignment with that version of you, that future version of you, or that empowered version of you. So it's about making internal shifts and like, I guess this is leading me to kind of go in the direction of, you know, who impacted your sense of self-worth? Who made you feel like you were unworthy of the life that you wanted or of your desires? Maybe it was you yourself. Maybe it was other people. Um, certain situations that impacted you to feel this way but choose to forgive that choose to forgive to release that um, to no longer carry that with you because the ver the other version of you that's more connected to their worth isn't carrying these things so if you feel pulled to do any healing go ahead and go for it and you know basically for me last but not least these three cards are basically you know same kind of message is what you've been asking for, it's done, it's yours, it's a given, you know, it's already in motion, it's already happened in an, uh, another timeline, it is, so, have you been doubting, have you been questioning, anytime you catch yourself questioning whether you'll get your desire is an opportunity for you to recognize you're not really owning your worth because if you really owned your worth you wouldn't doubt it you would know like no this is mine it's gonna come it is you know like an example that i want to give you of my own experience right now is like today i actually had a meeting with my immigration lawyer some of you know i'm in the process of saying about my possibilities opportunities to move back to the u.s anyway um my immigration lawyer didn't necessarily have the best news for me but did have good news for a relative of mine so we were on the call today and um through looking into my case a relative of mine actually benefited and i'm not necessarily benefiting 
but I didn't let that bring me down. I didn't let that, um, like, discourage me in any kind of way. Like, initially, I felt a little bit of, like, sadness or whatever. But anyway, I meditated and, like, coming out of my meditation, I just felt connected to my truth. And I knew, like, no, I know that the stuff around the U.S. is going to happen and it's it's answered it's done it's just a matter of timing it's just a matter of the things the circumstances lining up however they're supposed to and i'm just trusting in it and um you know like i can either sit here and be the version of me that's feeling frustrated upset whatever with like things maybe not working out according to my timeline according to my ideas or because i didn't get the news that i wanted to hear etc or i can be the version of me that Maybe the external isn't different, but the internal is different. And I'm so deeply connected to the fact that I know it's going to work out better than I could have ever expected, faster than I could have ever expected, et cetera, et cetera. And it's just like working out amazingly for me and just trusting the divine plan and just trusting that, you know, like it's all good, it's all done, et cetera. And just really being in that state, you know, and owning that. And that's the shift that I made, you know? So the same thing for you is like, you decide, you choose. If you want to have more, do more, be more. If you want better, you get to choose. And you make that choice through that internal shift of owning your worth. And I knew inside of myself today, like I know I am worthy of going back to the US. I know I'm worthy of having this work out for me in the most amazing possible way. And I'm not even going to let myself get phased in any kind of way because of what news I received today and let that impact me in thinking I'm not going to get what I want, the outcome that I want. I know I'm going to get it. And maybe it's just not going to happen this way through this pathway, but it's going to happen in some other way through some other pathway that's going to be even more amazing and better for me in the end. So that is what I'm choosing to lean in and to feel into and holding that strongly within myself and so but in the past an old version of me would have been there in dis in disempowerment and would have been there in doubt and just wondering like oh you know i'm not gonna get this or whatever i just i would have let the situation affect me because i wasn't strong enough in my sense of self-worth you know and i would have doubted like oh am i gonna be able to get this but I'm not at that level anymore with regards to this situation, at least. Like, I know I'm worthy. I know I'm going to get what I want. So I'm not even going to let this bring me down in any kind of way. And the same goes for you as it relates to you and your situation. When you are strong in your sense of self-worth and, you know, of you knowing that you're worthy and deserving of the outcome that you want and you're really, really solid in that. You're not going to doubt it anymore. You're not going to allow whatever is happening or not happening in your life to make you doubt it in any kind of way or bring you down. Um, you know, you're going to hold that knowing inside of you really, really powerfully and you're going to keep going about your life. So that's what I'm talking about. It's that internal shift that needs to happen to allow the spiritual abundance to come through, to allow the magic to manifest in your life. You know, it's all going to come together, but it, it's an internal thing because you are the creator of your reality and everything is coming, you know, from like everything you see projected in the external world is just a projection of your inner world. So when you can hold that it's strong inside of you, you will see it on the outside. So, yeah, these are my um, messages for this week. Really hope that this has helped you. If it has, I would really appreciate it if you could let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, a like. Um, please drop me a comment down below if you want to share anything with me in the comment section. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so if you resonated with today's video. And feel free to go through my past video teachings. There's also some playlists you can go through and just go to whatever content you feel guided to check out. And again, I would um, really love to connect with you on social media, I'm mostly present on TikTok and Awoke these days. 
and I just share TikTok videos out to Instagram stories and that's really what I have energy and space to do recently because yeah I just don't feel like being in other spaces often <laughs> besides the ones I'm currently on in the way that I'm on them so anyway I really hope that this has helped you thank you so much for your time Again, if you haven't signed up for my 2022 yearly energy reading, you can sign up for that down below. We're going to do the live reading part for July, August, September next Wednesday, um, July 6th. And information on Bulletproof Empath will be up in perfect divine timing when it's up and ready. But in the meantime, you can check out my teachings on empaths on TikTok. I will see about getting them uploaded to YouTube. I don't know. Depends on what I feel. I let spirit guide me. If I feel like pulling, pushing, not pulling, I can't talk right now, it's late. If I feel like putting them up on YouTube, I will. If not, join TikTok. It's the best <laughs> for right now. Things might change in the future. But anyway, thank you so much for your time. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.